Hello, hello, hello. Well, oh boy. Okay, well, um, on this one, okay. As you probably met, I don't know what you heard me say, I guess in some of it. We had a little disaster, okay. This shrunk bad in the wash. I washed everything through the washer dryer after last Tuesday's live streaming. So this shrunk here, so what I'm going to have to do is cut the one that shrunk off and throw that away 
One thing I forgot to do, I forgot to pre-shrink it. That is, wash the fabric before I use it. That way it would shrink to what is it, it wanted to shrink to, and then I could work with it. So this get thrown away. Okay, now, these look perfectly okay, because this fabric either was washed before, or it just does not shrink. Now, with these, same thing. Now, these are the ones we spent a lot of time on last Tuesday night, and look what happened. This one is bowing this way, bowing this way, and that one's bowing that way. Let's do them like see that one. It's bowing, and that's fine. That's because, as far as I can see, this orange fabric here and here has shrunk. I think this fabric here is okay, but I think I'm going to do, I have to do, I have to cut this off here and cut that one off here. And then we have to make another side stripe for each one of these. So, this appears to be okay here, but we don't know for sure until we cut this off because as this shrinks it pulls the whole thing okay so uh let's see what is that it's doing that uh, hello hello i want to make sure nobody is lost in zoom land no i see nothing okay all right so we cut that like so okay get rid of this then we do the same thing on the other side okay Take that and same thing. Now, we cut that off. These look like they're okay. That, that whatever whatever misbehaved was what we cut off. So let's see this. And then we have to put, um, what we're going to do now, and we have to do a straight edge. Because that was bowed, it did not cut straight. So grab, grab, grab the straight edge. And we're going to cut this straight. Actually, let's do this. We're going to put them back to back. Okay, make sure the one edge is lined up. And the thing we're going to do is take this, make sure they're lined up with the grid on the cutting panel on the bottom here. Then we're going to take the Straight edge, which also has its, it has its own grid, line it up with the grid on the table, and make sure that, I'm, yes, I'll be cutting through a layer, and we get it lined up there and there, and we're going to cut this. Like that. Okay. Now we get two straight cut pieces. And that does look symmetrical, like that. But now, next step, we're going to surge these. Put these through the serger. So, <clears throat> let's go to the serger camera. Double check the streaming. And let's see, nothing going, everything should be going okay there. Whoops, now why did I do that? Okay, so I've got to go back. Two here. Okay, all right, now it's over here. <clears throat> all right, now you can see the surger. Now that's taking its time now. There we are. Okay, it's over here.
All right, now we are kind of back where we started. Um, we kind of almost lost on uh, Thursday night because of the country. So, I think we sacrificed these. So let's go back to the um, cutting table. And, uh, let's see, we go camera number two. All right, so get that. Okay. Here we are. Okay, they're straight. They are pretty much good mirror images of each other. Okay, now let's think about what we want to do. So we have the green kitty corner, the green. So this this join is fine here. So we, the last one we did, the one we lost, <coughs> we're lined up on the blue to dark blue here. So let's try to reuse that. So let's come over here. Now this fabric here as well as this one here. These two fabrics we washed today to make sure these are pre-shrunk. I found this at the thrift store this week. This is a runner, okay? I washed it, so it's pre-shrunk. This I had all along, but I couldn't remember if I had pre wash it so I washed it again to make sure yes it is pre-shrunk so with those what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take these and set them aside like that now this runner has a lining okay this is not the same fabric as that so I'm gonna cut the lining off okay we're going to cut it around the hem. We don't want the additional thickness of the lining in the bathing suit. Okay, so that goes. Now this is interesting. If you look at this, this has got an interfacing behind that fabric. Now, no, that's just tape. Now, well, no, I don't know what that is. Now, that's interesting. So let's completely take it apart. Now, I may not be able to use it. Now, it says, at home, America, at home, whatever the hell that means. So, okay, all right. Let's cut it there. Cut this here like this. Okay, now, all right, you take the back off. I don't care about the back, okay? Now, we got something interesting here. This appears to be an interfacing behind the facing. Now, can I peel that off? Now, this is going to be tricky because I'm worried about is that Remember, this is a bathing suit I'm making, not a formal jacket. Yes, it looks like it can come off. Now, why they put that on there? Uh, this looks like it's durable enough. Let's go ahead, take the interfacing off this fabric. I'm guessing since this is a runner, they wanted it stiffer to be on a table. But now it's not going to be on the table. It's going to be on my butt. It's a bathing suit. Let's get rid of this. Now, here is the fabric. To me, that looks fine. I see nothing. Although now, oh, that's interesting. Oh, boy. It is stretchy. Oh, okay. This is something we're going to have to be really careful. You can stretch it now. Which means when I stitch this, with a tiny piece to this, I have to be careful in sewing it because if I pull too hard, it's going to stretch and be out of shape. So, knowing that, we're going to go ahead and risk using it. Now, we're going to want to make a piece. I'm going to do a two-tone two side band with... Let's 
with this. Well, let's see. It's going to look something like Imagine, oh boy, how am I going to, it's going to, no, it's going to be light. It's going to be something like, with this mat over here, you can see part of this like that, and part of it like that. Okay, so that's, so we're going to have the dividing line here, okay, which means a cut it's going to have to be about here, adding a little bit of room. Okay, now, how is this? <coughs> now, so you got narrow, yellow, wide, yellow, narrow. This is completely random. Okay, because this, this matches this here. You go out, this matches this here. You know, it doesn't. That orange is, well, that may match. Okay, you got this to this, that. And you got this to this. So it looks to me, you got this, see this, is cut half what that's from here to the yellow is this to this yellow to okay so the dividing line is going to be here if i cut this in half you get this to the yellow then the white and the dark red and then continuing on so to make these symmetrical I'm going to have to cut this. I have a choice. Now, let's do this. I'm going to fold this in half, okay, like this. Now, let's take this. The join we want to make is it's a white join here, all right, right there. Actually, I'm going to move this up so you can see it. Okay, so right there is where we want to make the join from the red to the um, the gold here. It's going to be something like this, okay? Okay, so the join right here, okay? All right, so we have enough room here. So we cut this in half, so maybe all we need to do is cut something from the edge of this, not spoil the rest of it. Same with goes with this. So I'm going to do. I'm going to cut. Now this is uneven here because this is the edge. So I'm going to do. I'm going to cut all down here, right on the edge of this white strip that you can barely see here. I'm going to cut all the way down to get that rough edge off. All right. Let's see. Do you want to check the zoom? Did anyone come in? Nope. And there's nothing going on there. I want to check the dreaming there's nothing there okay Did everything looks okay there no comments what i'm going to do is say welcome i am working in my bathing suit so welcome i am making a new bathing suit okay so we got that get that off there okay so now i cut this right here now we need we're going to do, maybe, to be generous, we're going to do a three-inch strip that's going to go here. So, so put the line the edge of this along the grid, go three inches up, one, two, three. Want a three-inch strip, want to make it four inches. Okay, so it would be right along, right here. That's four inches, okay. 
something like this. Okay, so this Let me take this. I'm going to cut this in half. Alright. Alright, so now that's one. So that's the red one. Okay, now I'm going to take the gold one. And let's see what kind of shape we have here. All right, now, if I can, I, what do I have here? I could, right, let me take, now, do I have enough? Yeah. I cut. If I fold this piece in half, like this, okay. I'm going to fold this in half. Now, I'm going to take this. Now, remembering that the red, I see, that was, how do we do this now? If the red piece this is the red, we do the red, the gold join, which would be something like this. If I do that, all right, this is not going to be enough to do it that way. It's barely enough to do that way if I want the red. Okay, that means now, I do it here. Was I going to do the red that way or this way? If I do the red this way, so the join is here. This is red here. Okay, no, I'm sorry. It's going to be here. The, the white is where the join is going to be here. This should be long enough here. So, what we do now, set these aside, set these aside, cut this loose thread off, this sprayed off when it was in the washing machine. Look at that, look at that. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to open this up. And we're going to have to, because these, we're going to cut along here, for a straight edge. The edge of the fabric will line up with the pattern on the fabric like that. Okay, now we're going to go four inches to match the width of this. It's going to be four inches and that's going to put it about here at this line right here. I'm going to cut this like that. Cut it off. Yeah, okay. So that's the other strip right here. So, before we do anything else, let's set this aside. Okay. And we're going to set the rest of the old runner aside like that. Now, what we're going to do now, we take these, we're going to cut this in half. You have two pieces. Like that. Okay. Now, lay everything out. 
right side up. Okay. All right. Yeah, actually, yeah, they can, we want the mirror image. They need to be symmetrical. Then we take this, which is the red. Put this here. Put that there, but then subtract an inch, because that's for the seam allowances. So that and that, and that is, you know, that's the wrong side. We want the good side up. So this is the good side of that one, and that's the good side of that one. Turn this around like this, so now this is opposite this, this is opposite this. Now, just lay it out like this. Let's make sure it's going to fit. You gonna fit that one that way? No. You gonna fit that way? Yes. Okay. So when this is here, then you have extra here. It will fit these. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna put this so the good sides it is together like this, like that, and same here with this. Now we know that we're gonna surge it. In the surge first. Here and here. We got them laid out just exactly as we want a surger. Let's move them over toward the surger. There's a camera on the surger. Get the camera set up right. Should be on the surger. Double check that. And it is. Okay. Now, let me just check something here. Nothing going on there. All right, now we come over and get these laid out as we want them. Good side to good side. Carefully surge this edge in both of them. All right, that's one. All right. That's the other one, make sure the edges are lined up. All right. Put that through the surger as well. And that's it. You see edges overlocked, or the edges now sealed from fraying. Now go back over to the sewing machine now. We do the two stitches, the main stitch and the top stitch. We go to the sewing machine camera. Bring these over. Everything else out of the way. Alright, let's see now. Is that one? Okay, so we're gonna open no, we don't open them up yet. We're going to do the main stitch first. One. Okay, just a simple stitch across both layers. And that's the main stitch. You leave a half inch seam allowance. Okay, like something like that. Okay, now, let's see. Now, let's Let's get these back over to the table. Now, now remembering, this is going to be something like this. Whoop, 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 uh, wrong camera. I gotta push it over to the right scene, scene number three. All right, now, this is going to be like so okay now um for consistency let's try to have the top stitch to my left that will match the top stitch to my left here okay so that means the top stitch towards the red so let's go back to the machine so remembering top stitch towards the red I'm going to open this, 
flat like this. Make sure the fold is to the red. To my uh, to my left. Sorry. That's toward you. I'm gonna do the top stitch right down the line. Okay, so it's gonna look just like this. Okay. Same thing on the other one. Okay. Top stitch towards the red, towards, towards the left. Okay, like that. Okay, now let's go back to the table. Put the wrong one. Okay, now what we have to do now. <clears throat> we got them cut and we got them stitched, okay? Now we have to trim them and serge the edges. So we're going to turn these over. Try to line them up pattern for pattern. Okay? The pattern lined up as best as possible. Now, it may not be. Actually, let's do this. Can we line these up? This is lined up to the gold pattern, not going to quite line up with the red pattern, but again, it's going to be hard. It's about an eighth of an inch off out of alignment on the gold side compared to the red side. So we're going to go ahead and trim it this way. People will not notice that. So I'm going to bring these. I'm going to first line them to the grid of the cutting table. I'm going to take the, get this out of the way, take the straight edge. We're going to press this down, make sure it's going to cut through something in all layers, like that. Now we have to have another, the other grid, actually I could probably eyeball that. So make sure the grid is lined up consistent with the grid on the table and now we're going to cut through all layers here I know cutting it freehand like this is a no-no but I have confidence that you're not going to really see the difference once this is together now that's one side now we're going to carefully <coughs> move the straight edge so the edge of the strip will be consistent with the same part of the grid on the straight edge, like this. Make sure we're going to cut through all layers. Now here, we're going to cut the other edge, pressing down on the straight edge so it will not slip right to the edge okay now this is now both of these now are ready to be surged on both sides so let's just check it get, take the straight edge off okay it looks to me like they are in pretty good shape so we're going to Surge these. So let's move them over like this. And we're going to go to the camera number three. All right. Now, simple. We're going to run both, both edges of both pieces. Now, remembering this stretches, so I'm not going to. I want to be careful not to pull back on it when it runs through the surgery. Now, I don't want to deform it. Okay, that's that one. Right, right there. Okay, we got one of them surged. Let me be careful. Okay, all right. Cut 
Bring me in. Okay, we're set on that one. edges both pieces done okay now all right looks to me like okay so we got these all set it goes back to here back to camera number two all right let's lay everything out on the table so we got these edges, these here, and these are intended to be, whoops, I uh, see, this way. It's going to go that one, like that, and that one, like that. So we got symmetry, red, the blue, red, the red, the blue, like that. Okay, now the next step is we're going to stitch this and this and this and this together, lining the boundary from the red to the gold to the light blue, to the light blue to the dark blue on each one on the sewing machine. Go back to the sewing machine. We have to line this up. We're going face to face. Good side to good side. Okay. Now we're going to line this up. So the boundary from the light blue to the dark blue is at the boundary from the red to the gold. Now this may slip a small amount. But it's within a quarter of an inch. That's all I care because you're going to be seeing me swimming in this. And you're not going to look very, very closely, so, you know, it will not get noticed, even if it's a quarter minute job. But I want to try to get as close as possible. We do a standard stitch, um, one half inch in, starting from that uh, meet point where they match, where they meet, okay, that way. Um, we don't have to worry about it not matching if we start from the end. We're going to go all the way down the line, going both directions to the end of this strip. Now the additional red here will um, take off. Okay, that's one direction. Just double checking good side to good side. Alright, that one, we'll get rid of that. All right, now we're here. Okay, now we have that one done. Okay, let's leave that. We're not going to do the top stitch yet. Let's do the other one first. Again, turn good side to good side. The boundary between the white, light blue, and dark blue is going to be the same boundary as the boundary between the red and the gold. I want to just double check something. All right, so that's going to be something like that. Oh, wait, that can be right there. Okay, so we're going to do is put that under the foot of the machine without letting it slip. We start right at that point again. All the way to the end, 
on one direction. Now be careful how much to pull the red. If the red stretches, gently pull it. Otherwise it may be out of alignment, but even if it is, it can be a fairly minute amount on here. Hopefully people will not see it. Okay. There's one direction. In the other direction. Okay, now let's go back to the. Now we're gonna take this. Now we're gonna open this up. Now I'm gonna make a decision to go ahead and do the top stitch to my left or toward you because this has got if it, the pieces in the center each have seams which are going to be stiff if I go t try to go to the right. Where there's only one seam here. So let's go ahead, put the top stitch to my left or on the red side or toward you. Okay? Like that. Okay, and it's hard. I know it's hard to see it. Now be pulling it apart as I stitch it, but constantly checking to make sure the fold is going to my left. So it's not going to sneak over to my right. Okay, with that. Now we get here, we get to the seam, we have to press everything down to the fold stays to my left. Where it belongs. Okay, and it did. Okay, now it's getting a little bit stiffer here. So. Constantly checking to make sure the fold is going in the correct direction. Okay, here we are. There's number one. Okay. I'm going to do the top stitch on the other one, which now is going to go to my right. Again, under the red fabric here, to my right. So let's do this. Let's try something. That's not very good. I'm going to try moving the camera toward this a little bit. Yeah, let's see, like that. See if that's any better. It is so hard. See the darn machine. I'd have to build a camera right here. I mean, that would be a future project if you get a GoPro camera and mount it on the machine right there aimed downward with its own light under the machine. I hate to modify a perfectly good $3,000 industrial sewing machine. I guess I'm put it out without modifying this. So, anyhow. Again, pulling the seam open, making sure the fold is going to my right or toward the red and gold strips. All right, now let's go ahead and go back to the table. Okay, now, let's see, you can see now, there, all right, now we got a good straight piece. Let's cut the salvage off, the ends off. One here. There, okay, that's that. There. And on there. Okay, now, let's lay these out. Now, as you can see, now they're straight. They're not pulling, they're straight. We know now everything here has been pre-washed. These panels, and they're surged on both sides. We don't really care that it's not surged at the end yet. 
that's not going to fray as much as the sides. So these are ready to be stitched with the background. So if I have to decide, do I want the center of the crotch to be here or to be here? That's something we'll decide later. We got them done, so let's set these aside. Now, let's salvage what we've got from the other pieces that we had to take apart because they're shrinking. And that, <coughs> that's what these are. Now, let me just do a few checks here. And there. Oops. All right, what do we click there? We'll get that. Anyone commenting at all? Nope. Okay, the things look okay there. Now, what I'm going to have to do now is figure out what do I want to do with this. Okay. We get red, gold, and kind of red and gold. Okay. Let's see for contrast. Well, we have... Now these are placemats, but they're awfully heavy. So let's not bother with those. Now, um, see what else I have. We got now we have this. The problem with this is, I don't know if I pre-wash this, so let's not risk using this yet. Alright, so... Now, this fabric, I did not pre-wash it, but I pre-washed a piece similar to it and it did not shrink. So I could consider using this. So, it's a blue. Let's cut off a four inch piece of that. I can leave this aside. Although, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I just realized something. Let's set this aside. Um, now, Now, don't forget, we have this fabric, this beautiful fabric here. Now, this has been washed. We washed this. The tassel survived it, and the fabric survived it. Okay. So, well, I'm going to see what I could do is we could use the narrow piece here and the narrow piece here, or I hate to use this because I might want to use that for a shirt. That's the thing. And the way this is laid out, I'm going to have to... First of all, I need to cut this along the tassel here, okay? Keep, an, keep a sewable width piece with the tassel. Okay, we do that. Although, now that's the thing. I, I don't really know. what to do. Do I want to do that? Or keep this together, say, for a future short sleeve shirt. With these, you know what? I'm going to do that. This may make a really nice part of a short sleeve shirt with these at the end of the sleeve. So let's set this aside. It's Okay, that's going to be yeah, let's set that aside. What else do I have that I know that I have washed or would be safe from washing? So, let's do this. I'm going to make it a short night, but 
I'm going to take this fabric and I'm going to take that fabric Take that fabric, these fabrics, yeah, I'm going to take these fabrics, one, two, three, four, uh, see what else, uh, let's see. kinds of colors. Let's take these fabrics, okay? I'm going to put these in the washing machine tonight after we're done here. Then, wash them and dry them, and that means they'll be pre-shrunk. Then the next time, it may be, she say, Friday, Saturday, probably next Monday or Monday, Tuesday, I'll be YouTube only chat on this. And we'll continue with these to to mate it, to mate something with this. Now this has already been through the wash. We'll set that aside. We're going to wash this. And then we'll figure out some striping from these fabrics. Some, if not, maybe all, maybe not. To go on either side of this to make a, stri a stripe. Then once we're done with that, we'll put the boundary on. And then that's it. So actually, let's think about this now. We could do this. Let's do this. I'm going to put these in the washing machine now. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to figure out, we're going to take these and figure out a boundary uh, or a background for this. It could be the front or the back, but a suitable background fabric. So let's do that. I'm going to be gone a little bit as I put these in the washing machine. Okay, now what I've done, I've put all those on a short, cold water, gentle cycle. That's all it needs. They need to get soaking wet, agitated, just to get them to show. 
what's going to happen and to get it shrunk. If it's going to shrink, let it get shrunk then and there. So now, um, that way then, when I take that out and work with it, it's going to be already shrunk. So, let's take these and set them aside. We're not going to do anything with those yet. And now let's think about these. Okay, now, these will need a boundary, no, a background here and here. So, let's see. Now, I just picked this up today at the Goodwill. No, no, this was at the, um, oh, what's that? Uh, oh, what the hell they call it. Um, a little fabric store, a little, um, thrift store on Meridian, across from Hagen's. Um, assistance League, that's it. This looks like it must have been a tablecloth. I'm going to use this as the background for the front. Or maybe, let's take this. Yeah, let's do this, that. Let's see if there's anything else I might want to match it with. Let's see. What about taking this and this with a boundary on both sides and make that the background, the edges. One for the crotch and one for the outside. Or do I want to do it different colors? Have this on the outside, have this on the crotch. That's what I don't know. Because the eye is going to be focused on here. I mean, we're going to focus on here. Now, with the center of the crotch, we may want to do some decorative on the top center of the crotch once we get those other fabrics back from the wash. So, it's going to be... Let's do this. We're going to do the outside boundary, an outside background for these. Now, what color do I want to do that? Sea blue. Let's do this. Let's set this aside. Although, you know, that's, you know what, though? No. Actually, I may not want to do that. There's a lot of red here. Uh, we take this against that, or this against that. This is more contrast. Let's do it with this. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do a single piece with the outside. So I'm going to do, open, get that out of the way. I'm going to open this up. Oh, let's see how we're going to do this. This is... Oh boy, it's going to go to the end, which is here. Ah. Okay, just double checking. Looks like the live streaming is okay, so we're going to continue on. So, what we're going to do now, this will be, and we're going to take that, like this, and we're going to take one of these, take these, get this length right. So,
This looks like it's really straight here, but let's do a new cut anyway. So, these are about, let's do a cut, let's see, that edge is lined there, more or less lined up there. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to cut the end like that. And let's cut this like so. Get these out. Set this aside. that set aside. Now, the two pieces here. That's a little bit uneven here. We're going to do a straight edge cut on the side lined up here. Okay, that's going to be cut as well, so the knife, and the right, that. Okay, now, what we're going to do now, we're going to surge one edge of each one of these, because the other edge will be cut when the final cut is made for the, pan for the actual panel for the shorts. So now, we have to decide. What do we want for the outside? Let's do this. Let's do the larger set to the outside like this. So this would be the center. The crotch would be here. This would be the center and working your way out to a nice contrast. Let's move this up so you can see it. So that's going to be that. That's going to be towards the outside edge. So that's what this short's going to look like looking from the center out. So. But all we're going to do now, we're going to surge this on both of these. Right? You got bad side to back sides. So hopefully, they will be symmetrical. Let's lay them out. And it looks to me, now, this is a floral pattern, but it looks to me it's going to be pretty much symmetrical. So, we're going to surge here and here. Let's go to the surger. Okay, that looks okay there. Okay, you take both of these to the same edge on both of them.
Okay, I think that's it. You go now when you go to the sewing machine, which is all right, sewing machine is right there. Okay. Yes. Remembering we're going to take the blue and stitch it right take it from here the blue to the red right here so you go back to back this is no edges to a line we're just gonna have one continuous stitch okay so we get you from one end to the other since nothing has to be lined up in the middle so it's gonna come like this so the edges are lined up Okay, that's one. Do the other one. Okay, now, this is going to be, let's see, it looks to me, let's try to do the top stitch toward the blue. You're forced to fold toward the blue. Since the blue has no crossing, it's easiest to have the top stitch on that side. You fold, force the seam to my lap on this one, it's the blue. It's going to get the top stitch and make sure that it's keep pulling to my left and not creeping to my right. Okay. I'm pressing it with my hands as much as possible. So yeah, something like that. Okay, that's one. All right. Okay, now this, we're pulling the fold to my right, also towards the blue, like this. Okay, now let's get the other camera back again. Here we've seen three. Nope. Oh, okay, now we're going to go to camera number two.
All right, now, let's see. So this is going to be something like this. Here is the center of the crotch. Uh, okay, it's going to be like this. Okay. Here's this. Something's wrong with the focus here. What's going on now? That's better. Okay, now. Oh, fully. I got the camera doing something wrong. That's what they're doing. Ah, it's not the picture. Okay, let's get rid of that stupid thing. Okay, back. Okay, now. Um, here's the center of the crotch here. And go out towards the edges. So that looks fairly attractive. I don't know what I'm going to do here for the center yet, but at least we got something here. Okay, I might do for decorative front crotch, have a series of narrow pieces toward the top of the front. Then have a larger piece toward the bottom, remembering that with a pants crotch, it's going to come out quite a bit below the fly line. This would be the fly area here. Then it's going to go something like this. So let's show you on the pattern. I've got a pattern here. Uh, let's see if I get the right one. Cut. Okay, here is the pattern for here's the pattern for pants. Okay, so it's going to be. Oh, you see how far this comes out quite a ways. So, so actually, the, this the actual cut would be this. Okay, this would be folded back. I don't, yeah, I don't, this is what a pair of pants would normally be cut if you fold this back for the fly. So, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to do a cut similar to that. Okay. Now, actually, there's another pattern I think is better to show this. Here is the front of a pair of pants, right here, okay? This is without the fly. The fly would come up and something like this, but we're not going to With the, the bathing suit, I'm going to make this lar large enough to pull over my hips so I don't have to have a fly. So this would be sewn, not with a zipper or, fly or snaps. So, and you can see this amount here, this is the actual front of the fly, this where it disappears under my crotch. So I could do is make several decorative stripes here, but this below about here could be all one color, enough to go out to accommodate this, okay? The back, I'm going to show you the back, okay? Here's the back, all right? You can see the back is very pronounced. Okay, let's get this out of the way. This is the rear that you'd see it. This goes under the crotch. It's quite a bit. So I could do this, some decorative pieces up to here. Then a single color down here and down, but you're not going to see that. So that's something I might contemplate doing, doing, okay? Then up here is going to be what's called the yoke, which is this, okay? This is typical, well, no, it's going to be you know, this way. It's going to be typical jean style. This is the yoke, so it goes on something like that, all right? So let's not, um, then on the front of the pants are the pockets, and this is a pocket assembly 
which is folded back and you see the pocket which on the front mates with this so the pocket this mates with that well, I'll be showing you that later now with the pants I make I do not do hip pockets they're worthless they're, they're only good for pickpockets and they detract from the line of the garment so I never I used to and I realized how useless they are and a lot of work they are so none of my good artistic pants have hip pockets they have the front pockets which are useful but the rear pockets as I said the only people who take good use for them are pickpockets so I'm going to leave those out of the equation so I'm going to use that pattern, this pattern which has the fly, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to put this one away. Okay, do that, put that away. All right, now. So let's think. It's okay, so we're going to do... Now I have to decide, now we're going to just leave it, we're not going to do anything in the center here because this could be the back or it could be the front. We don't know yet because we don't know what this is going to look like yet. The parts of that are in the wash right now and who knows, I may make another trip to the strips, thrift store to find out if there's an, a runner or another beautiful piece of colored fabric. So. Um, with that, and the machine, the washing machine is still running. It is 120, it is 1020 right now. We've been here an hour and 20 minutes. So let's call it a day here. Let's go back to camera one. Not right, actually, not that one. Okay, well. Enjoyed being with you. Sorry I had to cut this one short. We had a little disaster. We fixed the first disaster. We're going to work on the second disaster next time. Got to get that striped. And then we have to think about which of these would be the front. And based on what's going to happen with this, which is going to be in the back. And do I want to put decorative strips or whatever in the front? top at the crotch and or the back so that's something we got to think about so if all goes well we'll see you either next monday or next tuesday <clears throat> most likely that's going to be on facebook only so we'll see you all I'm gonna stop streaming